Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to start another series. Um, it, it was originally going to be a just a one video, but I could already tell as I was thinking about ideas for it that it probably needs to be a series because it, it, it's big enough. Uh, and this is going to be on uh, short stories, on writing short stories. Uh, what are short stories? Uh, what genres do they work for? How, how can you write one? What, how to think about them? Uh, even from a business perspective, that sort of thing. Uh, because I, I've discovered really that I really like writing short stories. I, I've, I've always liked reading them. Uh, probably probably when I first started reading, that was some of the ones that I liked. Because I don't know, when I was younger, I just didn't really have the attention span to, to follow a novel. I think also maybe uh, some novels were written above my head. I, I did read, read some, um, but... But you know, over time, I've kind of learned that I really like short stories, and and it works for my favor because um, my favorite genre to write, which is sword and sorcery, is is works very well with short stories because that's what Robert E. Howard, who kind of invented the, the genre, uh, that that's what he wrote. Uh, he wrote all all the Conan stories were were short stories. I think the longest was about fifteen thousand words. I think that was the the Hour of the Dragon, or or maybe People of the Black Circle. Uh, but but they it's a very long short story. They're very long short stories, but they they are still kind of short stories. And so um, what I want to do is talk more about them, you know, from from a writer's perspective and and even a little bit to a reader's perspective as to what are short stories, why you should be reading them, why you should be writing them, and that sort of thing. And, and I think probably the, the first place to start, first good place to start, is what, what is a short story? Um, you know, so that way we know that what we're talking about. Um, this is my definition. I, I didn't even look one up. I'm, I'm just kind of making it up as, as I think about it. Is a short story is a complete piece of fiction that can be easily read in one sitting, m within even maybe an hour or less. Um, that doesn't really define a lot of things, but kind of gives you an idea. So one, it, it is a complete piece of fiction. So one, it, it's a piece of fiction as opposed to nonfiction, which, you know, duh, short stories, not short, you know, books, uh, whatever. Um, but it's a complete b piece of fiction, meaning it has a beginning and a middle and an end. Not necessarily in that order. You might write it backwards, like Memento, where you have an end, a begin, a middle, and a beginning. You might jumble up all of those, you know, kind of a Pulp Fiction style, the movie Pulp Fiction style, but there's still a beginning and a middle and an end. Um, so when this, when the reader is done with the story, they have everything they need to actually be done with that story. Maybe not everything that they want. Uh, they, they might want more, uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the need versus the want uh, later on in yeah, another, another video, I think. But they have everything that they need. Um, the store, the character is fleshed out enough that you can kind of identify and go with them. The setting is fleshed out enough that you can kind of get a picture of what's going on and where. And then the, the plot has a beginning and a middle and, and an end. Um, one of the nice things I think about short about short stories is is that because they're so short, you can kind of be a little more experimental with them. Readers will probably tolerate more of your eccentricities in a short story than they would in a, a piece in, you know, like a full novel. Um, a, a character can be unlikable, for instance, in a short story, uh, whereas most people will not want to follow. The, the you know inner thoughts of a child molester for a whole novel maybe for a short story they might kind of kind of do that and go along with it um, that 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 sort of thing uh, easily read within a, a, a single sitting um, that that's a little harder like you know fifteen thousand words is still a pretty good slog you know you, you know especially if we're talking about Robert E Howard fifteen thousand words the his stories were in pr pretty dense. Um, so we might still be sitting in like you know an, an all day kind of thing or an afternoon. Kind of depends on how fast of a reader you are. But most people can start and finish a short story in probably you know an hour or two, depending on you know how deep they want to get into it. Um, so the exact length, number, word count can be a bit tricky. I mean, I suppose you could say, following my definition, a short story, you know. The, the cat sat on the mat is a story, uh, not really because there's no 
you know, plot and description, you know. Um, but if you just had a paragraph of 100 words, that could be a short story. We, we typically call that flash fiction nowadays, um, uh, which I think is, at least in my mind, is a fairly new in, invention. And I, I don't really read a lot of flash, flash fiction. I don't write it. I'm kind of not interested in it. Uh, I think for me, if I think of a short story, we're talking about a minimum of 1,000 words. That's just an arbitrary number. You, you could write a short story in a thousand thousand words. I, I'm actually my, one of my stories, the Battle at Blood Oak, uh, is I think fifteen hundred words or something. Um, it, it was written to be an excerpt in a, in a book. They didn't pick it up, so I kind of fleshed it out a little bit more and turned it into a story. It has a beginning and a middle and an end, and you know a, a plot and that sort of stuff. And it's about fifteen hundred words, and you know I think it's a pretty good solid story. Um, so, maximum, that one gets a little trickier, um, because I think it depends a little bit on the genre that you're writing in. It also depends on the format that you're writing in. Like I said, the, the people, the Black Circle, and uh, the Hour of the Dragon and stuff, those were 12, 15,000 word short stories, but they weren't published all in, at one time. Uh, they were published in, in chapters and little sections and excerpts and that sort of stuff. Uh, which is how a lot, of, a lot of stories were done back then, is you bought you know, issue number five, and you got to read the first part of the story, and that way you kept coming back for six, seven, eight, and nine, so you could read all the rest of the stories, uh, the, the whole, whole story as well. Um, so it is a short story, but that one was broken up into chapters, but that's more for like a marketing kind of thing. Um, but... If, I, I would say anything longer than 15,000 words, you're probably getting into novella territory. I think the longest story I ever wrote was 10,000 words. Maybe it's 12,000. I think it was 10,000. Uh, that was a Yark the Scholar story. The, the, the Crystal Flame was about 10,000 words. Um, and so that kind of gives you an idea of we're talking about something as little as 1,000 and maybe upwards up to 15,000. The sort of, I think, "Quote unquote industry standards, as as much as we have them nowadays, is more like three to six thousand. I see that a lot from a lot of the um, the magazines and stuff out there that they don't really want something more than six thousand. I actually saw one earlier today. I was thinking about submitting them to, and I think their upper word limit now is fifteen thousand. So they're they're kind of going up there. Um, but for me." A, a good short story, and this is kind of personal preference as opposed to any like real professional standard. For me, a good short story is about three to six thousand words because I can sit down and I can comfortably read it from start to finish, kind of get lost in the story, and you know, and then come out the other side and, and still be able to go about my day. I don't have to like schedule my whole time to 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 sit down and read a. A short story. I do know some people read novels all in one sitting, and I've done that before. If it's a really good novel and not very long, but most mostly I can't really do that sort of thing. So I'd say about three to six thousand words is probably uh, the 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 best thing, uh, the the best sort of range to be to be aiming for, and that gives you a lot of words to work with. You know, if, if all you've ever done is write novels, that seems ridiculously short. You know, some some chapters are longer than six thousand words. Uh, you know, especially when you get into like epic fantasies and that sort of stuff. Um, and so if all you've ever done is read novels and all you've ever done is write novels, then writing a short story will seem very, be, be very, you know, overwhelming, underwhelming, not sure how you put it. Which I guess probably brings me to the next point of maybe for this video is like, who, who should be writing short stories? Uh, and, and the simplest answer is, is people who read short stories. If you don't like reading short stories, don't write them. Uh, just like if you don't like reading novels, don't write them. If you don't like reading science fiction, don't write it. If you don't like reading it, then you probably are not going to like writing it. And you're not going to get the, the tropes, the conventions. You're not going to have the right kind of voice. It will probably feel stilted. It'll probably feel like a homework assignment because I guess in this way it kind of is. And so just, just don't write what you don't like reading. Yeah, don't write what you don't like reading. Um, so in that sense, I would say that if you like reading short stories, then yeah, definitely write them. And I think in another video, I'm going to talk more about the, the business side of like why, why you should write them and, and also 
from a, a craft perspective as to why you should write them. But, uh, and if you're not sure, then pick some up. The, the great thing is, is there's lots of short stories out there, lots of magazines out there that have short stories, particularly in a lot of genre fiction, uh, lots of fantasy. Sword and sorcery is really starting to take off. I think we're really hitting like a sort of golden age. It's not, it seems like a day doesn't go by that I don't discover a new magazine or a new anthology of, of new short story, uh, yeah, uh, sword and sorcery short stories out there. Um, there's been short stories for, uh, for science fiction since the 50s. The 40s? I don't know. It's Mystery is even older than that. Um, Black Mask magazine and all the old Pulp Fiction stuff. Um, they were printing uh, mystery short stories for, for a long time. In fact, a lot of the, the big heavies uh, in the mystery world, like Raymond Chandler and Dashiell Hammett, that's, that's how they got their start, was they wrote you know short stories. And I think um, I was recently reading or learning about Raymond Chandler, and I think he wrote like 20 or 25 short stories for Black Mask magazine before he finally wrote The Big Sleep, which is what propelled him into the mainstream and, and all that. Dashiell Hammett was the same way. He wrote a lot of short stories, and he eventually wrote, uh, he moved on to his novels and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, mysteries are, are definitely a good genre to be writing in. Science fiction, uh, fantasy, not so much the epic fantasy, because epic fantasy, the reason why people read epic fantasy is because it's epic. That they want the 2,000-page, you know, novel with the maps and the glossary and the the timeline, and and they they really like sinking their teeth into it. And so, epic fantasy readers would probably never even touch a short story because it wouldn't it wouldn't have enough meat for for them. Which is fine. It's just that kind of gives you the limit. Apparently. Um, Romance writers don't write a lot of short stories, mainly because one of the reasons why people like romance is, is they like that, that whole build-up. They, they like the two people meeting, and they like that attraction. They like them to get to know each other, and they like for them to, uh, um, you know, maybe they're not going to get together. But then they do get together, and then they get the happily ever after. And, and that is usually hard for romance writers to pull off in a 6,000-word uh, short story. Uh, erotica, yeah, you can do short stories. It's basically a heavy scene of, you know, slapping and slurping and, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, you can do erotica and short stories, um, that, that sort of thing. But So what I would suggest is if you're unsure, pick up some short stories, kind of just, you know, Google, you know, short stories of whatever genre it is that you're, that you're writing in, and then just see what, what comes up. Uh, and then, you know, pick some of those up. Sometimes you get free samples. Sometimes people will give them away, uh, that sort of thing. And then kind of, that way you can kind of see what's possible. Also, like in my uh, Should Writers Be Readers uh, video that I think was just last week, um, someone made the comment, and I think this is a really good one, is short stories are a good way to read genres that you don't normally read, uh, that you maybe don't normally write uh, like, uh, just to kind of get a feel for that genre without really investing a lot of time in that sort of stuff. If you sit down and you read a Western short story and you don't like it, eh, you probably lost an hour or so. But, you know, just by doing that, you've exposed yourself to a different genre, a different style of writing, and that might give you some ideas for, for your style as well. So I think in the future, I'm going to talk a little bit more about, like, how to write short stories uh, talk about the business side of like why if you're a writer even if you mainly write novels why you might want to write a short story uh, and I think I'll probably also talk about why you don't want to write short stories mainly because you don't like reading them uh, but there's some other reasons too um, but yeah if there's any other questions you have about short stories about um, really anything related to short stories yeah just post them in the comments and I'll kind of make sure I, I address them in uh, future videos but anyway, I will uh, talk to you later. Bye.